Data today, you can be ruined if somebody gets a hold of your data. You can ruin somebody else's. They may not steal your data. They may steal my kids' pristine data from my laptop that gets stolen if they somehow can get in there and somehow can get to there because my, my tax information's in there. But it's my responsibility, I think, to make sure that I'm educated and securing myself. I'm not, I'm, at least I'm not willing, maybe that's the libertarian in me, to give up more freedom to get more security. I'm not sure what the right balance is, but I, I think it's an interesting conversation. It is, because, because who is responsible? I, I mean, I look at who the average consumer does not understand what ExpressVPN does. So, so we get, should we give them access to it then? Should we take away access? You no. got to go to a class before no. you can do it? Um, no, because it's not rocket science to have to, to figure out how to buy ExpressVPN and utilize it when you're sitting in a hotel room in you know, Dubuque. Okay. I mean, so you should be able to. But the average consumer has no idea. They just assume that Marriott's Wi-Fi network through MSFT Connect right. is going to be secure. And that, but it doesn't Marriott or whoever. We're not picking on Marriott no, today. I love, love to stay at Marriott. Marriott. Lots know, of points there. But whoever, I think they all have a disclosure. Disclosure not only there in the room, but when you go to connect, whether you're a, a rewards member, as I'm sure we are, um, it's you know it brings you to their splash yeah, page, right, just like right, on the airplane right, or right. whatever. It says, "Hey, operate at your own risk. This is uh, you know you're on an open, unsecure network." Right. So your Amazon password may not be as secure as you think right. it is. And, and again, you're right. Who has, but again, I hate the average hundreds of millions of people in the world are not technical. But is that technical or is that we all have a certain, like I know uh, to, you know, um, click my seatbelt. I know to, you know, yeah, but who's, certain te things. who's teaching them that? You go to Best Buy and you go buy a brand new laptop. Yeah. Do you, do you think the blue shirt kid is teaching you but about is there security? Is it their responsibility, do you think? Well, who the hell's going to be? The, who's going to take on that responsibility? Is it your high school teacher? Is it your, your middle school teacher that's going to teach I'm your an kids on it? But I think that it's my responsibility to learn these oh, basic okay. things. Okay. On how so to Google operate. that crap is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're saying. I'm going to learn by Googling that crap, uh, and then I'm going to then I got to put it into action. Well, they're going to they, obviously come but, to you. No, they're going to come to you uh, first for, for me. No, I, but I used to, I, I, you know, it's a great subject because right. it really you you it was perfect. What they are doing now with some of the changes to the security and privacy regulations and rules and laws around the world. We are going to eventually have to get our act together here in yeah. the U.S. markets because yeah. we are far behind. California has tried it with the right. recently passed legislation, right. and so they're on the right track. But I think in general, we are behind. Well, absolutely, because people want to unwind. I'm really curious to see how, you know, a couple, three years ago, other than for cryptocurrency, I, I'm, I wasn't sure where I, I landed on blockchain and, and a ledger. But if we want to continue to do things... Um, if you ever get a chance, Hoover Institute has a, a, a guy, George, I can't remember his last name. He wrote a book, I think it's called Life After Google. He's not anti-Google, <laughs> but it's about, his premise is the world in America, we get all these things for free. What we didn't realize forever, or we didn't pay that much attention to, or we did and it wasn't a big deal, was I'm giving away all my data. There is yep. no anonymity. Yep. We think we're anonymous, there is no anonymity. Yep. And there hasn't been for 20 something years. Yep. What? My simple understanding is, is that with some of the things that are coming, uh, whether they've, they're have they coming from Europe or um, California recently is adopting a lot of that, but I think the whole world will at some point, whether it's through a ledger system or however it's going to be, I want data sovereignty. If I choose for the benefits I perceive I get to allow you to do something with my data, no problem yeah. to get Netflix for three bucks a month, a lot of people three. think the value of Netflix is or whatever it is, three. whatever the dollar is, <laughs> but to, in order to get, but that may be where they go. They may say, you know, cause a lot of us believe that the value of Netflix is in the service they provide. Their, Netflix shareholders and board doesn't think that's where the value is. That's 25% that you can watch your stranger things or your, whatever you're going to watch. 75% is the data. Steve and yeah. Dave in this demographic both watched. Yep. Rambo or the, yep. Yep. you know, the last three years of the final four or whatever. Steve watched it for this much time. Dave watched it for this much time. 
known associates of these people, evidently, kind of like the current virus conversation that's going on around the world, they all of a sudden, they're, you know, people in different demographics are joining them and they watch it at this night and this time. So they can shape their content or whatever. That's far and away the, the value. Page, the Netflix, Netflix Absolutely. splash page changes. And I've discovered so many shows that right. I would not have been interested in. Unless you watched the first one. I'm leaning into the AI <laughs> that's telling in. me to say, because you like this, this, and this, you might like that. Absolutely correct. And I just think I confuse Netflix because they're like, okay, he watched Shooter, Rambo, um, Veggie Tales, and You've Got Mail. This guy's all over the place what's going on <laughs> and he watched veggie tales the most <laughs> but um but i you know, don't read and into he, that and he anything. missed it and, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen yes. dave admitted it that's right it's freely uh but they already knew anyway but so so that's value but i want to be able to when i go to my doctor and share my my um you know my images or my health information or whatever if i choose to go to a specialist for a period of time and then want to leave them I want them to have access to all my data until I don't want them to have access to all my data. And I want to be able to reclaim it. And I want it to be, have a shelf life. And I, it's my data and I could choose who I share it with or whatever, uh, or who I uh, hide it from. Um, and so I think that that's coming, privacy as opposed to security and these kinds of things. 